There's a lot to take in here. I um started with this project. I'm a big Mugen fan. I like Mugen games. I like 2D fighters in general. And uh, my all-time favorite fighter is MVC2 or Marvel vs. Capcom 2. I've been scouting the internet, just hunting frantically for anything that has this game modded, and I just couldn't find anything. So, like I always do, I took initiative and I completed the globe myself. As you can see, the roster is huge. It's more than doubled over the, uh, the amount of selectable characters, and they're all new, fully functional uh, six button set characters for the entire roster. Um, I got the same highlight. I managed to properly match the UI to the original for the official MVC2 game. As you can see here with the cursor and the highlights, which is, um, I'm pretty sure I pioneered myself in the movie program too. For this game specifically, excuse me. Um, aside from that, I went ahead and just caked as many secret characters as I can. To get to a secret character, you just go to something that's affiliated with the, uh, you know, the secret character that you, you're looking for. For instance, here's a guy from uh, Final Fight, and simply just go outside of the, uh, the character select by hitting up next to guy, and it'll pull up a lot of, you know, obscure, other obscure characters. These specifically are basically helpers from the uh, from NBC one They've been completely overhauled to have a full six button set. Um, I think I showcased these in my last roster video, but that's just one example. Um, my brain goes crazy when I play games in general, and I think the more the merrier. So um, I've made alternate versions. For instance, if you go to X to X and you press to the left, you'll you'll get an EXE variation of the character, which is fully modified. I um, even went inside of the uh, files myself pers personally, and I tweaked him to um, to play and be uh, balanced with the rest of my roster. Um, another example, here's some X characters. This is um, WoW from Mega Man X1, but if you tap to the left here, you'll see there's other um, boss characters. And um, so on and so forth. Uh, I tried my best to keep the rosters strictly, you know, Marvel or Capcom. There's one cat, literally one character that strays from the formula, which is Kung Fu Girl. And I did that too, out of respect for Elect Bite or the Mugen program, because uh, everyone knows Kung Fu Guy is a, uh, he's a Mugen character. So um, I put Kung Fu Girl in here because she looks better, she has better art, and you know, she's animated far superior to Kung Fu Guy. So that's my one uh, Mugen homage character. Um, again, the, the entire roster, it's, it's strictly Marvel and Capcom characters. I'm officially done with this. Yeah, these are very obscure characters too. Uh, you can see Ivy. Um, for anyone who's like, oh, well, Ivy's not. Ivy's Capcom. She has to be Capcom because um, crossovers. She's uh, she's part of a, a. She's a crossover character, and everyone knows that uh, you know, Marvel or Disney owns Marvel now, and they also own Star Wars. And they've also had crossovers with Soul Calibur and uh, Star Wars. There's just like a whole, you know, there's like many factors that indicate that uh, Darth Vader can easily be on the Marvel side, or rather Capcom, either or, because of his, um, you know, his connection. But um, there's just a lot of things. I don't have to explain myself. Just uh, take my word for it. All of these characters are either Marvel or Capcom. Except for the one I pointed out, which is Mugen, to uh, pay homage to the engine. Um, aside from that, uh, next to Halmaru, because I like anime too. Next to Halmaru, I went and found... I tried my best to cake to the left of Halmaru as many anime characters as, um, you know, as, uh, to my liking, basically. And um, I only came up with like four or five of them, which are basically these One Piece characters. My boy Ace, and... Um, of course, Yoko from Gurama Guy. This is a very well animated character, by the way. But yeah, these don't... I don't think these really count. They're not specifically part of the roster, really. But uh, yeah, I filled out the entire globe. And um, I'm pretty much done with this project, man. I went back and by hand, 
tweaked and modified every character that had a, a issue or a bug with it. I even added boob physics to all of the female characters where applicable. So you're not going to see like a role with boob physics because, you know, she doesn't have boobs for a starter. But, um, yeah, pretty much if it's a female character in the game, I modified the physics for her to look, to look not only smoother, but to actually be there, like X-23. But, um, I'm just dragging this video out. This is my last video for my Marvel vs. Capcom 2 roster that I'll be doing for quite a while. Um, I, I feel fulfilled. This project is complete. Um, this is a one-of-a-kind project, obviously, because you, you won't find this anywhere else on YouTube. And I'm not gloating or humble bragging. It's, that's the truth. But um, everybody, God bless. Be safe. It feels good to be done with this. I'm about to move on to my other, uh, my Afro Samurai moving character. So, God bless.